Welcome to Date with Dhanu right here on High TV, your luxury channel. Today we are going to be speaking about friendship, fashion and everything in between. Let's start off the show. Hi, I'm Kamel. And I am Brian and we are here for a date, date with Dhanu. This is my first time with uh, Dhanu. I've been here before with my niece Danielle and we had a fantastic time on that. And let's hope this show will also be like the one before. I'm interested. Hi, I'm Mihira Vikramarachi. Danu is an interesting personality. So let's have some crash with him. So let's see how it goes. And we have very familiar faces on the set today. I will start from uh, this side. I have uh, Mr. Vikramarachi. <laughs> he goes as Mira, that's much better. Uh, he has been a part of the show from day one and uh, we have been trying to get him on the show but he's a lover of fashion and he tries to bring in some, uh, what can I say, challenging looks at times and only people like us will get around wearing it. So, so had to have him with uh, two of, two who he has been a part of as well in many ways of their projects. I have Mr. Kamil uh, and we have the one and only Brian. Uh, thank you for being here on the show. <laughs> say hi. So. <laughs> Kamil is like, Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't so mind read, okay? Oh. So anyway, today the show is going to be about lots of things. So uh, let's start off with Kamil doing a phenomenal collection this year for CFW. It was absolutely stunning. Uh, tell me this one thing is, I don't know whether this is the right time to like break into fashion full time. Everyone must have been, like it might have been a worrying factor for you. But what made you take that decision? Um... Actually, the fashion, uh, like, uh, I used to model for Brian, actually. And then I used to do a few commercials and stuff. And I always like to dress nicely. Mm. So I always wanted to see other people also dress nice. And ad I admire them. Then later on, uh, I don't know how it came to my mind. I think maybe my mother used to, I have a big family. Mm. Five sisters and two brothers. Whoa. So my mother you is the? a teacher. I'm the seventh in my family. You are the last. <laughs> the one before. One before one the last. Before, yeah. Oh, and with then you eight. Oh. My mother, after school, like, she come and then make dresses for my sisters and all. Uh, because and back in the days, they stitch, right? Like yeah. my mom used to stitch. My mother did. Yeah, so that's yeah. what. My mother dressed herself up when she was going for events. She didn't need to go to a salon yeah. and do her hair and makeup or anything like that. She did her sari drape, everything she did on her own. And those days, no internet or nothing yeah. like that. So he's, I remember, she used to get these mother care books and then, uh. Uh, you know, do the dresses for my sisters. So once in a while, she used to ask my opinion also. Uh. What do you think this color is nice and blah, blah. Mm. So I think maybe uh, that time got, got into me and I think then I started to do designing. Okay, so that's the pinnacle of it all. But it's great. Uh, Kamil has uh, made, this has his full time. Uh, but if you do remember, there used to be uh, a a clothing uh, store in Colombo that we all run to uh, because there was a touch of Kamil in all the outfits that they were chosen. It was ready to wear on TV for me. It was just go pick up anything. It was trendy and fashionable. I think the, the highest amount of TV model, all of these people would have come there, no? Yes. Purchase. Mm -hmm. And you are the one who will put the look together. Yes. <laughs> so, and come yeah. and my opinion. And, yeah. I and also, him. we enjoy the discounts that we used to get. But uh, <laughs> of course, now you have to just go to him. Now, next to me, I have Mr. Mihira, who has uh, uh, given us all fashion on our face. Uh, like all of us are blind, which is yeah. kind of yeah, kind of a unique feature we are having at this very moment. Um, you have been. I know that you do opti, optic care, is that how you say it? Uh, but yet, you have also been somebody I who... Wear. I wear. Yes. But you always wanted to make it fashionable, trendy. Why is that? Yeah, I think uh, healthcare is a boring game. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't want to go into that boring side because yeah. that is a lot of uh, education in health. Mm. But uh, I want to make it interesting. And I like people like uh, him. When he crashed into me all the time, say, say, okay, you, you, your color of the button, everything he looks at. Uh, Same way I have, when I see a person, I see, my God, you can make this, him much elegant with, with the spectacles, you yeah. can change the personality. So I love doing it, you know, it's, it's, it's also like them, I have this in my DNA. system. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and over 46 branches across the island. 
Yes, more than that, yes. Yeah, how do you handle it? Oh, this is organic. I would say people do business in different ways. I'm not interested in commercially. I like doing things for people and I like to enjoy it. And my staff is same, mm. that even Kamal and uh, they, they used to help uh, even to bring up them for many things. And I like doing things in a nicer way to give something for the society. society. And I think mo uh, the models have worked for Ray-Ban and all for him. Actually, I've been with Mr. Vikram Rachi to Jaffna where we went and distributed glasses with one of my, my models, Asanki. Uh -huh. So three of us went to Jaffna and we distributed spectacles to the poor people there as well. Mm. And, it's, uh, and it's quite interesting, people actually take the thing that you wear on your face for granted. Sometimes they just have this one pair that is just, you just wear it because you just need to see. But it really changes how you look, correct? You look, yeah. yeah, because it's on your face. And also it's with what you wear. Yeah, true. Now this I used to keep as my formal look mm. and I have a more casual one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to Mr. Vikram <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can you can completely change your your whole uh, you know height and everything with the glasses because the glasses are the main thing you look at your mm. eyes, and also you can make your colors, eye colors. Uh, even today, using glasses in everywhere is important. Mm. Now you say blind, you are not blind. I mean, if you see the blind <laughs> people, they have so thick glasses that we made it with a car yeah. size very thin, very nice thin lenses. You can make it, you know, like cosmetically nice. Yeah. And it's also not only glasses, I would say I have done thousand implants for the people who could not talk even a word yeah, of language, hearing. babies. That's yeah. something I really want to speak about. Uh, keep that. That's very important. Uh, with Brian, I'm going to come back after this little segment. We have a segment called Hot Seat. We are playing it at the start because we have uh, two very stunning people joining us on the show in a bit. So I want to play it with the boys. Right now, it's time for Hot Seat. All right, we have some questions and I'm sure you're ready to answer. Look at Kamil, looks already stressed. <laughs> I'm going to start with Brian because he has experience, okay? Experience in what? In this show. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering about the experience you were talking Many about. other things, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, if you were to be a fly on the wall, whose wall would you choose to land on? Either Harini or Sayuri's wall. What are you going to do looking at them? Why? I, okay, fun, so. <laughs> hey. I used to look at them before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you could trade one thing with Kamil, what would it be? Oh, God. Uh, maybe he's being liked by people because I feel that everyone loves him. Uh, and uh, I don't think everyone loves me. <laughs> okay. Who, in your opinion, is the best showstopper for Kamil? Stephanie, Timo, Harini Amanda. Mm, then I'll have to go with Harini. Who from the following would you pick to be the compere for your next fashion show? Kumari Silva, Savitri Rodrigo, Sharon Maskranas. Well, they're all very good in every way. I like all of them. Why, why, why didn't you mention your name? My name is not there. These, these questions come like that. No, no. But if I, so you I, are going to reject all and choose me? Well, then you know. No, and I actually I, I worked with all of them, and I find it very easy working with each and every one. Pick one, one so. Mm, who is more senior there? I don't know. I don't want to say who is senior right. because then I will get into the I call them old. I've never worked with Savitri, honestly. Okay. So I might give. So her we'll a go with Savitri. If you were to have a baby, what is the one thing you would shield him or her from the Sri Lankan fashion industry? What's the one thing I would shield my baby from? Mm, all the negativity and gossip that goes on around. Okay. Now, Kamil, are you ready? Yeah. I hope okay. So. Out of the two Bati queens, oh who God. is your favorite? Darshi Kirti Sena, Sonali Dharmavardhana. It's a difficult question, Dharma. I like them both. <laughs> right? Yeah, but your personal favorite. They are going to kill me after this show. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that she's my friend. Okay. I admire Sonali's work. Yeah, super. If not Ajay, who would you pick as the next best person to run CFW? Prasad Vidapa, Fazina, 
Charini Surya ke Sonali Dharma Arpana. Without Ajay, no CFW. But it's yeah, a hypothetical okay, okay. situation. Then, uh, okay, next to, okay, I like Prasad. I like to work with him. But next is Fazina. Okay. So. If you could make one of the following people walk on the ramp with your collection, who would you pick and who would you not pick? Chandimal Jai Singha, Pyumi Hansamali, Shihan Miranga, Susantika. Oh, Danu, that's a really difficult question and I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> but I don't want to get killed after <laughs> no, that. No, no, no. Who would you pick? Who would you pick to walk the ramp? Uh, not pick. First pick. No, Susantika is famous for 100 and 200 meters, so, so I don't want to put her into the ramp. Because she will run there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Good, so she'll run the ramp then. Uh, so you'll pick Susantika? No. Uh, you also a difficult have, question. I pass You have Shian Miranga, you have Pyumi Hansamali and Chandimal. Pyumi Yeah, Pyumi Hansamali. And you will not pick? Not pick? Not pick Susantika. Ah, okay. <laughs> right. What not because of anything else. Huh? She'll just be too fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what what is fast. the first and last thing you would do if you were to wake up one morning as Brian? Hmm. First thing? Last thing he'll do. First thing? Look after the cats, uh. right? And last thing I do? Look after the cats. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Look after the cats. So arranging the uh, house. No, but that's not what I do. No? That's so what I you do. Okay. So you have to say what I do. Yeah, okay. what would I, you do? First and last, both looking after cats. the cats. That's all. It's kind of a pussy problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was on the ball. <laughs> If you were to trade your genitals for one superpower, which superpower from the following would you pick? You are letting go of your manhood. Oh God, no. Manhood. <laughs> Invisibility, x-ray vision, telepathy, super speed. Super in speed in what? In <laughs> <laughs> super speed in anything. <laughs> super speed in one thing is not Super not speed happening. in one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Not that. Uh, what did you say first? You have invisibility. Invisibility is better. Ah. I also think that's the best. Yeah, part. that's the best. You're losing your... You can watch everyone I can else. watch everyone yeah. what they do. <laughs> but you have nothing to do it with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you have traded yeah. it off for that. Yeah. All right. Mr. Wicks, are you ready? Here we yes. go. Who from the following is your favorite personality to see in your frames? Rukanta Gunatilaka, Brian Kirkovan, Channa Vijaywardhana, Saranga Disasekara. Saranga? <gasps> yeah, see, he let all, everyone else yeah. go. Out of all the presidents who you have helped out with the vision, <laughs> vision who has been your favorite? Presidents only. Mm. President in Lions Club? So <laughs> <laughs> Presidents of our country. Okay, I don't think. Uh, oh, well. Uh, Who looked good after a specs change? <laughs> well, that's a very difficult question. Really, none of them look good? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sad part. Um, if you were to bring back one of the following personalities into parliament, who would you pick and why? Your options are Ranjan Ramanayaka, Mervin Silva, Upeksha Swadnamali, Rosi Saranayaka, Ravi Karnanayaka. Oh my God, that is a tough question. It's <laughs> another tough. Yeah. First one is? We have Ranjan Ramanayaka, Mervin Silva, Upeksha Swadnamali, Rosi Saranayaka and Ravi. Ranjan Ramanayaka? If you had to forego either your vision or your hearing for world peace, what, which would you choose to give up? My God. Vision or hearing? You should ask I would uh, give up vision. Vision. Oh my God, really? No, why? <laughs> they look at them yeah. so stressed oh about him. God. My vision. Yeah. <laughs> He's yes. not really letting it go right now. Right? Yeah, but in case. <laughs> yeah, in case. Just in case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For world peace. Uh, yeah. You answer. Brian or Kamil? Give up for what? No, for nothing. <laughs> Brian or Kami? Who do you? <laughs> I think you made us <laughs> this. <laughs> Brian? <laughs> yes. Oh. But they know you, each other long He chose you more what? over Kamil. Oh, That's me. it. Brian or Kamil, <laughs> just in life. Congratulations. I must say the winner is Brian.
Oh. Because I think you were very honest with your answers. These ones took time. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, why, that's why, why I said I'm not, some people don't like me. <laughs> so there you go. Congratulations, we're going to get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. This is A Date With Brown. Welcome back to the show. We just needed to add some spice to the set. So we got Harini in. Harini is a proud production from Brian's modeling school. And also a lot of great... Uh, work she has done. Uh, she's also a DJ. DJ? <laughs> yeah. Where do you DJ? Uh, so currently I play at Kava, Kava okay. Island Bar and also at Candy Room. You know that we don't have many female DJs there in our is not Sad, much. No? But honestly speaking, it's getting a little bit better. It's getting diverse now. You know, there are welcoming female DJs as well. And I think it's, it's good. Yeah, because for, it just is for your information, three of my models are all DJs. DJs. Really? Females. Wow. Wow. We came on all doing this. <laughs> <laughs> because I they hope can't. It's this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this. Uh, so you, you you also had a corporate job and you gave up on that yes. to do this because full time, no? This uh, is? Yeah, I mean, I felt like it, I needed to explore a bit more of myself mm. uh, with the, my corporate job. It was really hard. Mm. Uh, and But I gained a lot of knowledge from it. So whatever I've gained knowledge from over there, now I try to implement it on my own. When you go to work, like when you go for your corporate job, do you really doll up? Like do you, do uh, you no. stamp your way there? Being like very honest, no. I don't have the energy for that. But uh -huh. I do. I mean, we all have a basic look that yeah. we normally carry out for work. But I don't glam myself. I up. can't just imagine you walking in for a meeting. <laughs> and they are just like, uh, <laughs> we are here for a pitch or... <laughs> <laughs> or do you want to pitch ourselves? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Harini, how did you get into Brian's school? How I started was, I remember when I was small, I think I've said this a long time ago as well, I've always had the passion to do modeling. But everyone, men, Sri Lanka everyone, is full so of many models. models. Everyone but it's good, models. it's good. Modelers. Modelers, Model yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So uh, then I wanted to model and the first person that came into my mind was Brian and I met him uh, from the chocolate magazine, mm. uh, the fashion show. And then he was like, why don't you join my classes? And I was like, well, if I really want to start something, I need to start from somewhere. Mm. So I decided to go to his class and I evolved as I went. How many by. years has it been? Now, with my modeling industry, I've been for five years. Oh, that's and, it. Yeah. Seems like I've seen Seems you around like for a long, long time. Long yeah. time, yeah. 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 Just because she has developed so much in that short spell mm. of time, she yeah, has yeah. really yeah. Yeah. brought Mother herself hen, to the highest Mother level. Mother hen part has already come. Can't. <laughs> Nobody can uh, no, no. cross paths with Brian's <laughs> models. Immediately the feathers come out. <laughs> now you have worked with, I have always wondered, haven't you all noticed that Mihira is always surrounded by the most beautiful looking girls? Always. <laughs> now, you have had fashion shows, you have helped a lot of these Miss Sri Lankas and all. How does that work? <laughs> oh, that's, that's interesting. I would say during the time that we had the hotel, that Brian is one who actually put me to, into the track of fashion industry. Oh, wow. And uh, we were actually doing many things and before many people started and Brian has been doing with the Crescat time, no? We were, yeah, we were developing work. Well. meet all my competitions, where uh. we had a competition where we select the best model in glasses. Mm. So then we, uh, we went on to doing fashion shows at his showrooms mm. and inviting all his uh, VIP guests, the ambassadors from different embassies mm. and things like that. And we used to do lovely shows for Mr. Vikramarachi with did, uh, contestants. Yeah. We did some uh, Amazing crazy shows. shows. Uh, yeah. Even we did a... Mobile first a bird, sexy bird, <laughs> yeah. and then we got got uh, all the sexy bird. Uh, sexy bird? Uh, all the models to you know model phones. I think it's the first time ah, in the world. Yeah, I would yeah, say. yeah, yeah, that was at the Taj, right? Yeah, yeah that was. And then we had a Ray Ban, uh. uh, first store in the world. We were the first, and he brought all the models, uh. and we had a nice uh, wine tasting and. Modeling, yeah. and we send up to the gold road on <laughs> the bottles. With yes, the and also color. Mr. Vikramarachi oh, helps me with my modeling school as well, uh, and the agency where he helps to give them discounts for various things. Mm. So it works. It's a win-win situation for everybody. Now, I wanted to ask you: You have worked with some of the best brands internationally that you bring to Sri Lanka. Uh, what is the demand for eye care here? Like back in the days, people didn't understand it as much as they understand it now. Uh, from the time you started to now, have, have people started accepting, you know, 
eye issues more? Yeah, I would say eyewear is a fashionable thing. And now you see in other countries, they wear without the lenses, the frame itself. Mm. And uh, thanks to Brian of getting all these uh, models uh, together with uh, all these fashion sh uh, parades. And I brought, I'm so happy and proud that I brought all the Tiffany, uh, all the top brands to mm. Sri Lanka, at least mm. to Sell first time and uh, legally, limit, yeah. legally, you know. And with the rights. Not you know. illegally. <laughs> <laughs> Not hand carried. I mean, yeah. I mean uh, you have to get the brand rights to yeah. advertise and you have to change, you know. Yeah. And then I sent some of the your models to all these top con uh, brands, uh, companies, and they were keeping some library shoots, yeah. So mm, these are like Dolce & Gabbana. And I think uh, before our closer countries, we got the brands in Sri Lanka. That's amazing. Top brands. All right. Uh, we are going to come back and speak to uh, Kamil about his start to fashion. I still remember one of the first dresses he made was for Tamara Markalanda when she won yes. Miss Sri Lanka for Universe. Uh, we'll speak more when we do come back but right now we have a little game and it's called Yes or No. Let's play. Okay, so it's a very simple game everyone. Just show yes or no. If you all want to explain the answer, you all can. Okay. All right, everyone gets the same set of questions. Here we go. Have you ever offered to complete a task for someone else in exchange for something specific from them? Can you repeat the question? Huh? <laughs> okay, have you done something expecting something else from the other person? Thanks. Have you ever gotten into a serious fight with a close friend over a mine issue. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. No, I mean oh, this, one. <laughs> <laughs> this one. This one is to have you ever fallen asleep during the act of intimacy? No, 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 no. <laughs> Look at that. This <laughs> no. he's like Bond. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, have you ever made out with a complete stranger without even knowing the name of the person? I'm confused. Brian said yes. <laughs> Kamil? No. Huh? Yes. Sorry, I'm very honest. Yeah, thanks. Oh. I didn't know that. No? <laughs> He's saying no. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you're the only honest one here, okay? Only honest one. <laughs> Have you ever gotten called out anywhere because you were wearing something embarrassing? Hmm. Maybe when I go to feed my cats, I dress very casual. Skimpy. Yeah, of course, yes, yes. Skimpy? Than, no, not skimpy. Not <laughs> indecent. Nothing's exposed. <laughs> <laughs> if the cats are saying meow too loud, we know. <laughs> <laughs> they, they might all faint. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you nothing. No, nothing. Nothing, nothing. He has always dressed well. It's okay. <laughs> Have you ever dated someone more than once, even though you knew that you were just going to have a bad time? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Ah, for everybody, once. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> it's yes. a flat rule. Yeah, that's oh, true. Yes. Do you lie about your age to seem younger to others at times? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honest set of people, are huh, now? Have you ever imagined your own death? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't stop myself. Oh. Yes. No. no. I have, actually. I have. Yeah. Have you ever broken wind in public and blamed it on someone else or acted as if you never did it? <laughs> I don't remember. To be honest, I can't yeah. remember. I, I do like this. <laughs> yes or no? no yes, none yes, of no, y'all. No. Can't remember. I have, of course, done. <laughs> Quietly. Sure, so like this. No? no? Me? I don't no, think I, so. I, I don't recall. Yeah. Nobody has held their nose after I walked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. If you ever, if you were single, would you consider sleeping with an elderly person, if they promised you a lot of money. 
Yes. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> Find me that person. Yes <laughs> 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 or no? Ah, uh, yeah, he but. Is he so sleepy? Yes. No. Yeah, we don't need to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. But no actually, he is he's good enough for me. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. Owns half of Duke Good, I think. And 47 no, outlets. Yeah, outlets, yeah. yeah. Just imagine oh. you can be the madam for all 47. <laughs> and she wears spectacles every half. Yeah, hour. every day I could be the madam for all 47 outlets. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into a break. Well done, all of you. Uh, I will have to give this to. See, Brian has been winning at a rate. <laughs> Brian's always been a winner. <laughs> Can't. I am the judge. Oh, Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> 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 you doesn't need 48 out. Can you imagine? <laughs> see, I can take the wealth from here. Okay, you won. <laughs> 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 I'm giving it for the wealth and for the sugar daddy purposes. Oh. <laughs> Let's get into a break. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. It's a date with Danu. I wanted to speak to Mr. Mikramarachi here about this amazing project that you do in helping kids with hearing and it's a huge problem uh, because hearing challenges their conversation their ability to, to go to normal schools tell me about this i can never say cochlear that word implant. that implant cochlear. yeah cochlear is yeah. very expensive for yes. a person to do it tell me about it yeah actually uh, i s when i see that two percent of children babies who are born have to have deaf schools and they separated is it's inhuman thing and this is not happening in west and uh, about 30 years ago, they invented cochlear implant in Australia. So we did 1,000 implants for kids. Now they are going to universities, they get married. I have to go and sign the marriages, mm. and they get, get married to normal people. Yeah. So and economically. This is all FOC, you did it. Yes. And uh, to be frank, the first ones, I did it out of my own things. Mm. You need a surgeon to do this, you need hospitals to do this, and government also intervened. And people like. Uh, David Pires and all these people are donated, some of them, and we have still to do with the collapse of uh, economy. Mm. It's very hard, and people who love to do this can join. Yeah, you can always find more details uh, when it comes to this particular project from any of their branches and contribute in your way. How much does it cost? So it costs uh, now double because of the <laughs> prices, yeah. and it costs uh, in Australia and all maybe 12 to 15 million. But uh, we have uh, supported the uh, price for Sri Lanka for the latest implants. And reliability is very important because you can't take it out. Once it is done for 70, 80 years, it we have to, to look after. There. So that's why I asked my daughter to join now. Mm. They're taking 1,000 children responsibility. And so th I'm a happy man with 1,000 children. I have done happiest thing in this world. Mm. That's amazing. And you know, we take it for granted what we have been blessed with when we were born. But uh, and that's always a lovely feeling when they hear for the first time and when they react. And so the technology is so amazing. When Arthur C. Clarke was telling me this will come like this, now you can connect the hearing. The, your phone is connected with the Bluetooth and they have more facilities. When you get into a laptop, you can connect with the Bluetooth and they are much more bionic and, than us. Uh, they can hear better than us. Yes. And that's they amazing. go to universities and they do lots of uh, higher education like in uh, the latest uh, innovative technologies and all, they are very high, they are brilliant because they can hear better than us. That's amazing. And Vikramarachi, you didn't tell him about the fashion show you did with the girls who uh, could not Yeah, hear. we actually, uh, Brian, Sunis, uh, Daniel and we, we all put together with the deaf girls and they are uh, elderly deaf girls and I have 20 deaf people working. Mm. You know, I do a con contribution. Swiss government, German government is helping us and we educate them with vocational training. And this was with the Di uh, Daniel and we put them together. And Brian trained them. We did a nice them. show with them. We asked them to identify the deaf. They and could identify. Could. They are very good. They, they learn things very good. That's amazing. And I can see that even autism people are with us. And I can see autism people are like robots. And these deaf people work without any pin drop because they don't <laughs> speak. Mm. So the communication goes with, uh, they are, you know, they can yeah. listen to music with hearing aids and they work, you know. And, and in fashion I, show, they, they did better than the normal people sometimes. Yeah, really, really and, good. And, and, really and I've seen some of the autistic um, youngsters who work with uh, 
with the Kramarachi's brand. It's amazing. They're so dedicated and they're so so full of urge to give a lot of uh, give so much back, which is brilliant. And I'm so grateful that you do this. And if you want to contribute, you can do so. Uh, and if you are someone who is suffering with hearing, its solutions are available. And at the same time, you get to choose the colors, the look, the feel. It's so cool. So um, thank you for that. And also, we do some shows with the colored, fashionable, you know, uh, the designs together with these uh, implants. But today, it's implanted but there is a little gadget here so yeah. we put hair, hair cuts and yeah. hair pins and all that it's so i up. made it fashionable even that you know that's the and, most uh, important thing i love this doing it and i have fixed a problem in the country for two percent of a problem that i did it myself so Brilliant. let's enjoy it awesome. now harini i need to ask you you now we know samdhani was recently celebrated for her winning but you have won this few years ago Please tell you you are magnificent on the ramp. Thank so you. tell me about this award that you won. Uh, it was a really amazing journey when I started it. I didn't really expect for me to be the first runner up, but that was not because I was I didn't think that I wasn't capable of, but because everyone was there beautiful, they're equally talented, then they're equally competitive. Um, my journey there it was I really I really enjoyed because that was one of the first times where I actually went out of the country and be stayed by myself taking responsibility for myself and you know doing and everything. And when was this? This was in 2018. 2018 and you won December. model? Top model of the world uh, 20, 2018. First runner up. First runner up. Which is amazing and Thank we you. Should be, you should be very proud and this was at the very start of your modeling career. This well. was when exactly as I started so I, it's, it's, now, it's almost five years now and as, as I started is only when I did this pageant as well and it I'm, I'm really glad to look back and see what I have learned out of it yeah. as well. But you know, everything gets crowded because I'm sure funding for it and all, you might have struggled to somehow find a way of going. Luckily, I'm so grateful the fact that so many designers came on board to help me out. And honestly, just being very honest, it's a teamwork. Although I have to go there and do it by myself, you it's a, a lot designers, of you. it's a designers, then, my mentor, yeah. you know, it, it, it's always, a, it's never by yourself, it's a Unlike group work. Unlike other pageants now, her franchise fee, her the airline ticket, everything, everything was, was given, given to her. Like oh, by the... Provided. It by the, the national director by the and mother hen next to you <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> which is amazing and that's why uh, and there's always a lot of pride when there is a lot of when there is a return in r recognition yeah. and that's amazing uh, thank you so very much harani we are going to be speaking to another fabulous model when we do come back and we also have a very interesting segment on the other side <laughs> thank you so very much we will see you after break. Welcome back to the show. It's time to ask a question. You know, you you don't need to take part if you don't want to, okay? Because you seem like a very young girl. Uh, we also have Sairu here. Big hi to you. Uh, she's another mortal uh, we wanted to speak to, but you don't need to, okay? Because these ones are very corrupt. <laughs> if she wants to, she can. If you want yeah, to, you yeah, can. Yeah. Just go this for is it. our Kenke question. I'm going to ask two questions this time, okay? All right. Are second mm, rounds exciting or exhausting? We start with Mr. Vikram Rachi. Yeah, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. As the exciting. Uh -huh. Brian? Depends on who it is with. Not everyone is exciting that the is second true. time. Might be just exhausting. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to answer? Uh, same answer that Brian <laughs> I gave. Yeah. All, right. Go, go, go. <laughs> All right. Just because you're like the moon, I'm going to ask for the other one. Are you loud and wild or just meek and submissive? Mr. Vikram Rajshi. You. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> loud. Loud? <laughs> Can't talk here. <laughs> Brian? Well, again, depends on the person. Oh, you can. I can choose. vary. I vary. Oh I vary God. with different people. I am a different person for different people. Wow. <laughs> yeah, all of us. Well, now it's too late. That was my answer. Yeah, that's. that's okay. Okay. You, Sayuri? 
Ay, no, granja. <laughs> all right, then. Um, That's all. I'm, yeah, actually, oh, the winner of this is Mira. <laughs> Ah, yes. Yeah. So he, he has, has won two gifts. Why he has won two gifts. Yeah. Are we are getting new gifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really... Now what is he going to do in Midnight Divas? Well, he's wild. Oh, oh I'm right, right. Okay. Now, yeah. right, okay. now yeah. you get it? Can we see him in that? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Can we see him in that? We need to go the toilets are over. Brian talk. has some vicious fantasies. We need to be careful. Anyway, he's always with us. Yeah. yeah. Can, can we see what's inside? Huh? Can we at least you see? You can see. Wait, hold on. See what we are missing. Uh, sir, you can get into that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that. I'm sure Brian also can fit into it. Into you. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I'm going to give this to you. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm There's not gonna a whip show in that. there. There's a whip. There's a handcuffs and a whip. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Vikram Raji, I think you keep it. <laughs> All right. So, um, let's speak to this wonderful girl quickly. Tell me, uh, you have been modeling for? Uh, with Brian for five years now. All are five. And <laughs> you also took part in competitions? Yes. I took part in Supermodel International. Um, I represented Sri Lanka, and I was, I went to Thailand, and I was the second runners-up. Wow! And <laughs> she has this real raunchy way of walking. It's really nice. And Thank uh, you. like, if there's ever a music video that's very salty, Enjoy. seductive, I think you'll be ideal for it, which in is this? amazing. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I'm not going to answer. That. <laughs> <laughs> answer. Yeah. Thank uh, you. So, Kamil. Your, uh, your collection name is just Kamil put the other way around. Uh, you didn't want to think of anything more. I was thinking and then... <laughs> yeah. Actually, it is more. It is Lee Mark by Kamil. A lot of people just say Lee Mark. Yeah. But oh. it is Lee Mark by right. Kamil. It's fully there. Yes, the, everything's the, out there. Yeah, <laughs> everything goes. <laughs> but Brian, you also had a brand, My right? brand is Brian Kirkhoven. Okay. S short and sweet. How is that short and sweet by the yes. time? By the time you say Kirk, oh, you're out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. yes. Um, so I was talking about uh, one of uh, Tamara. Yeah, Kamil's first designs. Uh, like at that time, it was, you, I was told by Ajay, you are like a child who is in a candy store. That's the amount of um, eagerness you have towards this creating your collection. Tell me about this year's collection. You worked with just two colors, just black and white. Mm -hmm. And it can be monotonous, but yet you brought out something so remarkable. How was it? Actually, I'm really ha happy about the end, in Risa. I was working really hard, Danu. Like, it's not easy like to work and then to create and it's something. it's expensive. Actually. It's quite expensive, this, this, and it's very difficult to find good fabric. Mm. So what I did was certain uh, outfits, I create the fabric. I got the fabric and then I pleated them yeah, yeah. and tried to do something different. Right. Yeah. And he does it all on his own. We, I don't get involved in his collections at all because he's very, very particular about what he does. OCD. Like. Yeah, so I get. So I did yeah. everything alone, like with the tailors anyway. So finding the fabric and. Uh, now, where do you retail them? Dano, very soon I will tell you very good, good news. Very good news because I was working for uh, department so a long time, almost like. 19 years and that is your forte yes yeah and then i learned so much there mm -hmm. like you know and then uh, i want to open something on my own now i thought this time is correct and it's just time to go for new yeah new brands to come out mm -hmm. you know yeah. so uh probably in july i'm planning to open my own store that's amazing well done Thank very you. proud i think this is the best time for startups to come and i would say this is the best time to start business yes. and you can always wait you just yeah. need to go out there and just see. And sometimes you have to take your risk. Like you, you have to take the risk. Hmm. If you're not taking, you never know what will happen. You can't do business without yeah, risks. Yeah. Tell me now, as a model, Sri Lanka is growing in terms of the quantity of shows. But the quality of shows can be quite questionable. Do you pick your shows? Yes, I do. And also, I, I, because I don't have much experience, I always ask from Brian, like, should I do this? Or... Like, so every year we have, I think, two shows, mm. like two main shows. I do them and it's a little bit tricky sometimes. And uh, is Brian possessive? 
Very, very, very. I think Kamil is more possessive <laughs> than Brian. <laughs> okay. But tell me about the competition level, because uh, is it healthy out there? I, I think it's very healthy if you work with the right people. I think as a model, I believe that you should always work with an agency because you're safer and in terms of payments to everything, you're safer with uh, an agent. But Brian, for all what you do, is there a salary that you can put on it? No. Not really, because for me, my happiness is only uh, mostly seeing them doing well for themselves. And yes, there is a little bit of a commission that I take from them, but that's not very yeah. much in comparison to... That is just to feed your cat. <laughs> cats, uh, cats, 20 of them. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's amazing. And, yeah. uh, and it's nice to see that you always create personalities, and we've had so many of them on this show as well. Yeah, you so, had all my boys recently. Yeah. Ah, yes. That sounds really wrong when you say <laughs> you've had all my boys. <laughs> as long as they are billing, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just had them on a show, okay. unfortunately. <laughs> but, you know, uh, let's get into a segment called Dish the Dirt. So, dishing of the dirt. Now, there are a lot of agencies. Is there Capili, Brian? Is there? Capili. I guess there is, but I don't get involved in anything. I, I work totally alone. And now I've started um, even hiring models from other agencies because I think if we need, we have to embrace everybody. Everyone. And do others do the same? Uh, not from me. <laughs> yeah. But do you feel that we need to have like a solid body that's going to help all these title holders, pageants, like, you know, we have so many people going to so many parts of the world and no, nobody knows what's happening to anyone. I think they, we should have a committee where we all get together and help somebody who is representing Sri Lanka, right? Because, see, uh, these girls are lucky because of our connections and because they've been in the trade so they can get lovely clothes from all the designers. What about the girls who are in freshers? They come into the scene, just win a title, they don't know anything about the fashion field or how to handle themselves, how to get clothes. I remember once one girl went for an international Miss World pageant wearing a I Love Ceylon, Sri Lanka t-shirt. Whereas all the other girls were in designer brand suits and things like that and I felt so sorry for her. Mm -hmm. See, if she was connected somehow to us, we would have helped her somehow. In yeah, some someone way. has to correct them and yes. advise yeah. them what to do. So actually we should have a nice panel of people who know about and, the and industry. And a body, that's so yes. that you are putting the right foot forward. Yeah. Um, you can also put tourism together, no? Yes, because, yeah, this is actually, true. yes, that's Different really way, true. not like, yeah. No, because see, even sometimes when these girls are going, they are... They're mm. holding Sri Lanka like this, and nobody in Sri Lanka knows that they've gone. Not only that, even and if they are their extra the luggage, they are being charged for their excess baggage, you know. They are going representing Sri Lanka in an international pageant, so they have to take as much as they can to represent yeah. it well, right? But when they go to the airport, they are harassed there about having an extra bag, or extra few pounds, that. or whatever, you know? So that's a pro big problem. So the tourist board, like Mr. Vikramaraj, she said, should also get involved and help these girls to go feeling free and happy. Yeah. Because when I you are free that. and happy, you go yeah. and represent your country really, really Be well. Better. I think foreign ministry and tourism yeah. should get together and get do together. this. You know, this is how we can brand Sri Lanka. Yeah. I mean, these are very good uh, chances. Yeah. Um, moving on from that point, we have spoken about it so many times. I really hope there'll be some kind of uh, thinking that goes behind it, and it happens really fast. Uh, Kamil got upset with me after one of these shows. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I call uh, and check with you. Yeah, yeah, and later on you didn't talk to me for like, what, three months? <laughs> Actually, I only... <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't want to talk to me forever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but then I was annoying, no? Yeah, then you, you had to talk persistent. to me. Very persistent. How did I call and ask you? How long I know you, Danu? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you just believe what others said as well. Yeah, because I watched that and everyone called and asked me to watch it. So yeah. even people who are friendly with you called and yeah, asked yeah. them. So is see, this Colombo is society. Is, if you know? Colombo does not talk bad about somebody, what's the point of being in Colombo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm, now I'm asking you a question. Do you think I'm the worst designer in CFW? Yeah, like I think it was really bad, like the collection. <laughs> it was actually really good. And you know, I just, we just create 
scandals. Like I asked you like questions, but you didn't answer anything. But it's nice to have people who will just put some stir and go. It's fun that way. At least people know that you know that your show is being watched. But I didn't end up, wanted it to end up with you not talking to he me. He didn't even watch some, so many so, people so called many, him and told him, did you see this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they even if sent I knew him that, the clip. You would have not come. <laughs> it was during the height of the Aragali. Yes. And I'm not having this Aragali yeah. on this side. I should have pushed all the Aragali people <laughs> to come and do something there. Yeah, but anyway, I'm so happy that you're on this show. It took so long, but anyway, it's good. This one is just like laughing in the middle of <laughs> answering what's happening. Uh, so what keeps you busy apart from modeling? So, I am a biomedical science student. I knew it, you know. <laughs> I had it in me. I, I figured. <laughs> no. I was told you're a bit of a Nerd. rainy one. Yeah. Nerd. Nerd. Nerdy one. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm done with my degree now. Okay. And I'm supposed to start my practicals this year. Hmm. But I'm taking a gap year because Why? I want to try something else. What and is that it? is what? Tell him what you're trying. Yeah, I want to start a clothing brand. Um, swimwear for From all sizes. From biomedical to this. Um, yeah. Maybe you can use things, different things to make fabric. Like, what do you mean? I don't know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you Seems are the biomedical person, person not me. <laughs> yeah, so medical I... Medical clothing, very sexy medical clothing, you know. Oh <laughs> my God. You know, no, 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 you know, no, yeah. you know, no, 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 wild and everything, yes, 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 like, yes. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going to happen. All right. And when, you'll, you'll be managing it, so just uh, imagine. Yes. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Let's get into a break with our final segment on the other side. Welcome back to the show. What's on their social media is what we have done. Uh, don't worry. You anyway have only pretty pictures. So I can't be bothered with you all. You need to go with the ones who are ancient to social media. <laughs> the others who are around you. <laughs> all right. First start with this. Oh, yes. Good. These are his two kids. And tell, I can't be telling about your children. <laughs> yes. Yeah, my beautiful two daughters, they are New Zealand, uh, married to New Zealandish. Yeah, they, they were all here last week. Who is the bossy one? The bossy one is the small one. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa. Now, see, I've told you about a few pictures of uh, this one. I'll come to that. Oh, that's in New Delhi. New Delhi, yeah. When was this? Just about like three, three months, months ago. I did uh, this Gurgaon Fashion Week there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's a long time ago <laughs> in Bangkok. <laughs> You know what the title is put? Fresh from Bangkok. <laughs> My Hot Picks. <laughs> the album is named Fresh from Bangkok. My Hot Picks. Yeah. <laughs> you see that picture? Dying with Aranas. And what is that? <laughs> <laughs> and the, this is like a globe. You're holding on to the globe as well. Then Diane took the picture. <laughs> I must say, Kamil, I really like this look on you. You look 15 years younger. Oh my God, I must do that. They Don't you think so? We lost the model. Yeah. You, it's I nice, like, right? Yeah. It's a nice look. You should go for it. It's <laughs> 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 in Bangkok. I wish I can go that back to that size. It's anyway. taken in Bangkok. Actually. So all these pictures are from Bangkok? Bangkok, yeah. yeah. Bangkok, <laughs> yeah. You've been very busy. <laughs> Talking about work, this is from your project. Yes. Greatly, I was here as an ambassador for the cochlear implant. Mm. They are all deaf children who can hear now. And I met him in person. I actually compared the yes. dinner that you had for him. Uh, <laughs> that was in uh, Korea, I think. It was it no. even way before the wings became popular in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, yeah. yeah. Before, before. Uh, Wings were created. Victoria's Secret, I was having wings. <laughs> <laughs> in 2012. Now here, these are the pictures that I am worried about, you know. <laughs> Mira, oh. remember that is... Ah, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, at the time, I'll send you on the competition. Yeah. You're worried about hotel. it. That's when he started becoming kinky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking. And also, I'm looking at the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> this is after the day, I think. Mira's makeup. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now now you have to answer that question. Yeah, Remember yeah. <laughs> that question. One of the is, uh, where yeah, been, yeah, yeah. And these are how how many millions are these specs? These are <laughs> uh, these are a celebration of uh, forty <laughs> years and celebration. And, and he's one of the kids who can hear now. And, and can I just know? Uh, this is our celebration of president's frame. How much would it be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it you must be a card, yeah. Uh, it must be a card, right? Selection. At least two. Did million? he know? Uh, no, no. One million. I was going to ask whether he knows. Yeah. Just wanted to ask that on yes, the side. Yes. Yeah. Oh. oh. Uh, that is uh, when I was in Spain. In Spain. Yeah. She won the best model of the world. She's, She's gorgeous. Very gorgeous one. This, of course. You have done a lot of shows with her. I want to yes. remember her as well. Latika. She's a lovely person, yeah. Latika. She brought in some good shows to our country. Uh, she did that. She has passed away. So, uh, Anyway, now, what is your future looking like? Do you want to keep modeling on the side? I will. Uh, until the day I can't model, I will <laughs> model. <laughs> so I don't think... Maybe anytime soon. Anytime yeah. soon. <laughs> and also, do you feel like there's an age for modeling? No, I think we have so many examples in Sri Lanka itself. You know, there's some don't want to leave the ramp. Yeah, that's yeah. a different <laughs> story. <laughs> Internationally, some. No. Internationally, no, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you look like you have yeah, it, you, you maintain. It. Yeah, correct. Maintain. Yeah. yeah, not when you look like the ramp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Manu, have you noticed something special here? But, uh, all three have very special nose, you know. <laughs> they have different nose. I mean, even your model, she has beautiful nose, huh? which, is, have a similar which nose? is not normal ah, to our genes. Right, right, right. right. Mine of Lucky the nose. Uh, parrot nose. Lucky <laughs> nose. Lucky people. So I think uh, when the nose is there, so much nice. Huh? What is my nose then? <laughs> that's also like it's a just parrot. a breathing weapon. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing good about it. It's just a tool, Dan. It's a tool. Just keeps you alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No purpose for anything. <laughs> just there. All right. Well, on that note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you so very much for being here. Uh, this place has just got hot. I don't know why. So we need to wrap things up on the show. Thanks for being here. Thank you very I much. hope you enjoyed Thank the you. show. Now of you can course. relax, Khan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's about to run next to Susantika. <laughs> <laughs> on that, I should be the one who is running. Yes. Yeah. On that note, we do wrap things up. We will see you soon. Till then, you keep smiling and uh, support Mira's project in any way possible. You could contribute however much you want. On that note, we will see you soon. Till then, keep smiling. It's a